Hello, hello, hello. So this is a hot hair station that I bought from AliExpress. Unfortunately, it didn't work. I have it open already. Uh, the model number it's uh, it's um, ST it's six two D. It's from Aten. Uh, the company I contacted them and then they asked me to open it and I did some measurement for them and they came to the conclusion that the main board was bad. So let me just turn it on and then you see what it does. Switches on the front. So the, it's on if I have to press this button to start it. So it starts and then it gave error 13. So they made me go through some measurement and I send it to them. Uh, they came to a conclusion that uh, is the main board. Um, something else they asked me to do was to remove the heating element. The heating element it's already all the screws are out. I just have to pull it out. It should come out. Yeah, just like that. So if I have the element out, it's gonna give a different error. Um yeah. It just say EO2. And as per the manual, the first error E13. Um, in the manual, they said it's a heating element that is bad. But they asked me to do some measurement I did and they came to the conclusion that the main board is bad. Uh, the main board is here. I got the replacement board that arrived today. This is the replacement board so i'm gonna go ahead and replace it i'm not gonna record it so it's only one board inside only one board inside this one so i'm just gonna carefully remove that and put this new one and see if uh, error 13 goes away So I got the main board swapped. This is the old one. So I want to test it before I close everything. So the power, the cord is plugged in now. Yeah, it's on. I say it off. I'm gonna press this to see if it will work. Oh, same same error so it's not same error error 13 so it's not the main board yeah so I'm just gonna just gonna contact them again and see what they they say to do now So I was about to send this back, but I think I found a solution. Um, when I talked to the company who sent me this, they told me the seven volt was missing from the board. So if you see those two blue wire, that's the seven volt coming from the transformer. So I, I was able to measure and get seven volt on the connector. But I've, when I flipped the PCB, the PCB board, 
I measure on the pins and then I got nothing. So I just jump, I just jump those blue wire straight to the pins and now it seems to be working. So if I press, yeah. So it's hitting all properly. If I press again, it will stop. So it's the, the 7 volt, volt connector issue. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to um, cut those two blue wire. These two here. That's for the 7 volt coming from the transformer and then I will just jump it straight to the board and call it a day. So this is what I did. So I cut that connector and those two white wire, they connected straight at the back of that PCB board. And now I, it's working. Yep. Yeah, I'm just going to put the cover back. So that uh, that what was the problem. The connector had the voltage, but at the back of the PCB, the PCB board, I have no voltage. So something something going on with that connector. When I was removing it, I I saw that they put a lot of glue on it. A lot of glue. Maybe that's what what mm, uh, the contact wasn't good. So I clean out all those glue, but yeah, that didn't help. So I'm just going to put the cover back and I think this is done.